Hey guys, Aiden here. Um, it is Wednesday, December 16th. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, kind of updating you guys a little bit on some things that have happened to me. So um, I went and I legally changed my name, which was really awesome. So I just kind of wanted to let you guys know how I did that. If you were wondering and you live in New York and you kind of want to change your name, um, uh, this video is pretty much to let you know how I did that. So uh, I went to the Supreme Court house and I basically told this woman there what I wanted to do. So I told her that I planned on changing my name. Um, and she was like, awesome, here's a packet with everything that you need to know about changing your name, which was cool. So I took it home and I kind of like looked over it myself and I tried to fill it out myself, but there were a lot of questions on there that I had no idea how to answer. Um, and I also didn't want to do it wrong and have it kind of come back at me. So uh, luckily I have a family member who is a lawyer. Uh, so I hit her up and I faxed her all the papers and I was like, listen, you know, I really need some help because I don't want this to come back and like them deny me because I didn't fill this out properly. And she totally understood and she helped me out, which was really nice of her. Um, so we filled it out together and um, yeah, we got everything taken care of. Um, it was a lot of repetitive questions, basically asking you what your birth name was and what name you'd like to assume. Um, I'm keeping my same last name, so that wasn't an issue. Uh, it was pretty much just my first and my middle name. So I changed, obviously you guys know me, uh, Aiden James is my name. Um, so I filled in my birth name, which is super unpleasant and very girly. It never fit me. Um, no one ever actually called me by my birth name growing up, really. Uh, they always called me BC. Uh, because my name didn't fit me. So, um, yeah, so I changed my name to Aiden James, and uh, yeah, uh, I was really surprised at most of the paperwork because they asked a lot of questions about, like, if you have a child, um, and stuff like that. And I, you know, I asked my, my aunt, I was like, you know, why, why do they ask all these questions? And she was like, you know, it's unfortunate, but a lot of people change their name to avoid paying child support. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So um, so I filled out all the paperwork and instead you don't bring it back to the Supreme Court, you bring it to the county clerk's office. Um, so I went and I got a, um, a money order. I think it was like $210 um, for the name change and then uh, Forty-five dollars for like the processing. I, I'm not sure what the forty-five dollars was for, but you can't just give them cash. You have to bring them a money order. So, um, so I got the money order for two hundred and ten dollars. I got a money order for forty-five dollars, um, and all these papers need to be signed by a notary. Uh, there are notaries at the bank. There are notaries at the library, um, and I'm pretty positive they're free. They like do these things for free so uh, I actually forgot to get it notarized um, but I didn't sign any of it obviously because you're not supposed to sign it until you're in front of the notary uh, I forgot to go to the notary um, but luckily the county clerk's office had a notary and she was there that day so um, she signed it all and all that good stuff so I put it in um, and they told me that I would have to wait to receive something in the mail um, it was either going to be a court date or they were going to just approve it and mail me something in the mail uh, that would say that, you know, it was approved by the judge. Uh, and um, that would take, she said, up to like two, two to three weeks. Um, I didn't hear her though when she said that, uh, so I thought that I was going to have to wait all this time. Um, but luckily it came a week and a half after I actually put in the paper so it was it was really quick um, and I didn't get a court date I actually just got approved um, which was great uh, in the papers you know it asks you why you want to change your name uh, I did not disclose that I'm trans 
in my paper only because I live like kind of in the sticks in New York like I wasn't sure how that was going to go over and I didn't want to be denied simply because I was trans uh, in talking to my caseworker at Callum Lord she was like uh, that's pretty illegal and they can't do that but you know it's okay that you didn't put that you're trans it's okay if you did put that you're trans so in case anyone was wondering in that portion of you know the papers you can put that you're trans, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but I was really nervous about it, I didn't know what to do. So I just didn't put that, I just put that I never connected with my birth name and that, um, you know, I just, I wanted my name to be Aiden James. Um, you know, I picked my name based on the fact that like, I've always loved the name Aiden, it's always been one of my favorite names. Um, I feel like I look like an Aiden, Weirdly enough, I don't know, like, you know how, like, people look like their names? I feel like I look like my name. So, um, I picked my middle name based on a few things, actually. Um, one being that my sister's name is Jamie, um, and I've always loved her name because I think that it's androgynous. I, I like it. It could be, like, a, you know, a male or female name. Um, and I love my sister, she's like my best friend. So I wanted to kind of include her in that. Um, and my brother's name is James. Um, and I've just, you know, I've always loved that name. I feel like it's a really strong name. Um, and it went well with my middle name. Uh, when I was kind of going through the process of picking my name, uh, I had one of my best friends with me, uh, Cassie. And Cassie uh, pretty much helped me decide on my name. Um, so, you know, I did ask my parents what they would have named me, and I tried to include them in that, but uh, it just ended up working out that Aiden was going to be the best fit for me. Um, and they both really liked that name. I thought about a few other names, like I thought about Mason, I thought about Liam, um, my grandfather's name, I his name is Joseph Sebastian, so I kind of thought about putting that in there, but I ultimately ended up with Aiden James and I am really happy with the name. Um, so getting back to how I did it, uh, basically I got that paper, it was really exciting um, and I had to go and print my name in the newspaper. So I called up the Times Herald, I told them what I needed to do they were very familiar with it because obviously uh, anyone up here or anyone I guess anywhere when you change your name you need to print it in the newspaper unless you're uh, safe like you're not safe like your safety is in danger so um, mine's not I, so I had to print it in the newspaper um, that was I think $35 uh, and that happened very quickly all I had to do is I snapped a picture with my phone and I emailed it to the woman um, because the Times Herald is kind of far away from my house, it's like an hour. So um, I emailed it to her, she printed it in the newspaper three days later, um, and then three days after that, which was Tuesday, yep, that was yesterday. So Tuesday, she told me that it was notarized and signed, and that I was ready to come and pick it up. So they print out this piece of paper, and it basically says that, you know, your name has been printed, it is legally now that name. Um, and then you bring that back to the county clerk's office and they give you like a notarized and um, certified copy of your name change. Uh, and that's what you take with you when you get your name changed on your license, when you get a new social, uh, and when you do all that. Oddly enough, I didn't realize this, but when I had gotten that paper, I went straight to the DMV with the copy, not the certified copy and they took it um, and they changed my name at the DMV and they changed my sex because I have you know I have the papers from my doctor stating that I'm male um, and all that good stuff so I brought that to the DMV and they took it and they gave me a new license um, so I'm waiting for that to come in the mail but in the meantime they gave me like, a, like the interim license um, I have it right here and basically, sex is male um, and all that good stuff. So after I went to the county clerk's office, I paid 
it was five dollars for each certified copy and then they need to give you like another piece of paper that you use when you get your birth certificate uh, and that was another five dollars so in all it cost me ten bucks it cost me twelve fifty to get a new license uh, because my like twelve dollars and fifty cents because my license doesn't expire until 2017 which is pretty awesome so um, I went ahead and just paid for like a renewal license uh, so twelve dollars and fifty cents so after everything was said and done it was about five hundred dollars um, for everything um, so yeah so that's that I went to Social Security and I brought them the paper uh, that says that my gender has changed and I also brought them the certified copy of um, my name change I brought them my license and I also brought them like a piece of mail from my house it said my old name but it proved that I lived where I live um, and they changed everything over at Social Security as well so I'm just waiting for that and then I'll be completely done I mean I haven't sent in for my birth certificate yet but that's another like seventy dollars or something so uh, I'm just gonna hold off on that for a second I just really need them to change my name and stuff at work um, because it's getting confusing for people like they are perceiving me as male and then on the top of my my checks because I work for a restaurant um, it says my my birth name there and people get really really confused and uh, it's just like such a hassle and it gives me anxiety so I'm just really waiting on that social to come in so that I can change that at work and be done with that um, but that is the story of my name change so I am now legally Aiden James Quartz and uh, I'm very happy about it so yeah if you guys have any questions on the process or any of that good stuff uh, hit me up and I'd be happy to help you with it um, because I know that like it was difficult for me and I needed someone to help me with that so uh, now that I've been through it I know it and uh, I'd love to help you guys so I hope everyone's having a great week and uh, we're coming up on Christmas or you know we just passed Hanukkah so for anyone celebrating Hanukkah uh, have a happy holiday um, and I will talk to you guys soon I'm coming I just passed my one month on tea um, but that'll be a separate video I'll probably talk to you guys about that next week. Um, but yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good week. I will talk to you guys soon.